Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from channel listener John Dwyer, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Eternity in our hearts. Think of the billions that have passed before you. The memories of most have faded into oblivion. Yet I have clearly said that I put eternity into the heart of every human. Do you have eternity in your heart? I've put it there. Are you thinking of eternity? That is where you will be. So many are entangled in the affairs of this life, unconscious to what lies ahead, oblivious to the reality of existence. They think that if they can acquire enough money, enough power, that they will set themselves up for future bliss. How sad. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we may die. But the truth is, because I have set eternity in the heart of every man, he can never die. He will abide somewhere for eternity. Have you thought about it? Jesus said, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven that cannot be destroyed. He had eternity in his mind, in his ministry. You must have eternity in your mind. Soon you will go the way of all men. Soon your puff of vapor will vanish away. What will be left? You determine what will remain. Have you begun to enjoy the truth and the benefits of eternal life? This is eternal life that you may know the only true God and Jesus Christ who he sent. Why was Jesus sent? He was sent to pave the way to give us eternal life. The Father has always wanted a family. He's eternal. He is that he is. And his family will be the same way. I give them eternal life. The Father gave Jesus a group, a family, that cannot be taken away from him. They are eternally his. Are you abiding in his family now? Do you have eternity in your heart? That's the way it's going to be. This now is but a brief shadow, a blooming flower that will soon fade and give way to who and where you will be forever. The temptations of time and temporary life have too often stolen eternity from the hearts of men. I could have. I should have. Go and tell my brothers. But no, it's too late. The temporal pleasures were allowed to overrule eternity in their hearts. The choice is yours. There will be no excuses after the flower has shriveled and faded. Prove to me that you have eternity in your heart. Make the decisions. Choose the things that have eternal merit, everlasting consequence for good. It's just a matter of time. Time is the enemy. Time in your hearts presses on. It presses on you to make temporal decisions stand back from those decisions. Consider eternity. Ask yourselves the questions. Does this decision have eternal merit? Use the eternity I have placed in your heart as a measure of the value of your decisions. Then you will uncover a primary facet of my character, says the Lord. I am eternal. Every decision I make, every word I speak, every circumstance I manipulate is with eternity in consideration. I'm opening a fresh and new understanding of every facet of my character to all those who seek. It is available to you. Learn it now, and you will be much better prepared for the eternity that lies ahead. See Ecclesiastes 3.11, John 10.28. John 17, 3, and James 4, 14. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I repent, Lord. Lord, I repent of being too worldly-minded, of too focused on my here and now and things in the natural. Lord Jesus, give me an eternal perspective. Help me to understand and know what is it that we're waiting for? What is it that we are working towards, Lord? Jesus, I can't be the only one. Heavenly Father, give me, give me a, an eternal perspective. It's like the old preacher said, so eternally minded that we're of no earthly good, Father. We don't want to be so earthly minded that we're of no eternal good either. <laughs> Jesus, that you would give eternity in our hearts. You've already given it. Father, that you would Create in me an understanding. Lord, how do, how do I tap into it? How do, I think on, how do I think on such things? Things that are beautiful and noble and true. Lord, cultivate in me the Holy Spirit, the spiritual gifts, the, the, the fruits of the Spirit, Lord. Help my friend to do the same, Lord, that we would choose you. Friend, today, today in our decisions, let's agree that we are going to Ask the Holy Spirit, does this decision have eternal merit? 
Does this word that I'm speaking have eternal merit? Does this task or activity? And Father, may we be found in you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.